Hello guys. So I don't have much time and we're gonna get straight to the point. Once I made the weather system, I had only one issue left, uh, how to handle particles indoors. If you talk about participation such as rain or snow, we produce tons of particles in short period of time that cover a big area. That's why our emitter should be GPU simulated. If you talk about cascades, there was no proper GPU collision system uh, till uh, Niagara released. So, there are a few methods how to handle a GPU collision, but I found only one which produces less artifacts and is much more stable, though it costs more performance. Uh, I'm talking about using distance fields. So to make this system work, first of all you need to change uh, one option inside your project settings. So in the rendering tab, you should look for software retracing. Then you need to select generate mesh distance field. You start your editor and then you can work. This method has only one flaw, in my opinion, is the way how you should make props and plate them inside your level. I'm going to talk about this a little bit uh, later. Now let's see uh, what you should do to make this work. I have pretty much simple range simulation emitter. It has uh, some initial attributes such as initial velocity, uh, shape location, I use box, the spawn rate and in properties it should be set to GPU simulation. You also need to check the bounds because the lower value are you will get the clip artifact. So at fancy angles your uh, emitter simple won't render. And here it is. The whole magic happens using collision module and kill particles underneath the particle update. So it depends whether you want to kill particles immediately or in case you want them to bounce off like the rain from the roof, you can use an advantage of uh, H colliding particles. So before we start, here in my Niagara system I have uh, two similar emitters but their collision methods are different. The depth buffer and distance field. So if I enable depth buffer and go back to my scene, now you may see that we have collision working properly, right? Unless you get rid of those meshes from your screen. So if I go like this and go back, you may see an appropriate behavior. So that should not happen. That's why I recommend to use distance fields. So if you take a look at the description here, it said that uh, distance fields uh, rely heavily on the depths uh, of a mesh. So thin mesh could not produce enough data to make collision work. Here you may see that I have four kind of similar meshes, difference only in depths. So this one on the left has the depth of 0.1. It's the standard cube, so that's 10 centimeters. This one has 20 centimeters. And you may see that collision works fine, unless you have the 
uh, fancy angle of the mesh rotation. So this one has the same scale, but you may see that particles go through it. So on the right up here, have slightly thicker mesh 0 0.25 and I don't have any particles coming through it. So that's the only flow that I see using this method. And if you place mesh inside the level, you should worry about this, play around with those values, values of your mesh, make this work. Now back to how to make this work. If you add collision, here you need to select distance fields. Inside the bounds and uh, edge collided particles, you should go and play around with the values. Because uh, bounds heavily uh, depends on the velocity of the particle, you should go with the small restitution. Uh, advanced uh, aging it's not the 0 to 1 range it's the multiplier rate so it means that if I have the lifetime of 1 second and I go with the advantage age of 100 I guess my lifetime of a particle will be 0 0.1 second so it will be killed immediately in terms of the snow it works fine but in terms of the rain it should not so play around with this value and you can also use this as the trigger for making splashes right i also should warn you about using the rest state because uh, the rest state here traps the particles that stuck inside the mesh and if you don't have proper um, depths you'll have an appropriate behavior just like this So here you may see some particles stuck. Just let me change the depth a little bit. Yeah. So keep in mind that this should not be selected. The other method is using the kill particles module. Here you may see that I have has collided custom attribute. I should warn you that if you make your emitter, uh, you know, independently, I mean, first you place kill particles and you don't have collision uh, module up here this attribute simply won't show so let me show you by default this one has a simple checkbox which is kind of boolean type if i try to look for has collided we have it here but if i don't have collision This method simple doesn't exist. So just keep in mind that to make this work, uh, you should have collision added. So once you have collision and you have kill particles, then simple go and set has collided. It means that particle that has collided attribute on will be destroyed immediately. So in terms of snow, it also can work fine, better than the rain. But it depends on how you see your effects. So let me show you. Just like this. Also, the last thing is to talk about the scalability settings. Now you may see that I have scalability set to low. If I go with the whole low value, 
you may see that the system doesn't work because if you talk about the distance field, it rely on the uh, shadow quality. So the minimum required for this one is the medium shadows. Now it works. So I will place this one on my Patreon just in case you want to study it yourself. And I hope this tutorial helped you. So as always, guys, please subscribe to my channel, leave your feedback. Uh, link to my Patreon is under this video and see you soon, guys.